tunnel action. for y'all man so today 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 i'm gonna be talking about some of the myths that we have about the uh the chrysler 300 you know um people would dm me or actually put on my um my youtube but um if you are new to watching me i am grizzly marty man this is my chrysler 300 man 300 gang if you don't know mark park gang mopar gang if you don't know man go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now man and it's funny because i have when i say 80 percent is not subscribed to my channel and then the other the other percent is subscribed to my channel so i guess the other 20 percent come on yeah i come on y'all come on i know y'all can do better than that subscribe to the channel man help your boy out man <laughs> all right so we're gonna go ahead and get to these myths is the chrysler 300 reliable all right so i'm coming from work right now um I think it's extremely reliable. Um, this car is pretty much brand new. It's a 2019 Chrysler 300. And a good reason how you know a car is reliable, if you see the older models that's on the road now, and I see heck of Chrysler 300's older models, the first generations um, on the road, and um, they are extremely reliable. They're a great car. They're a cruising car. Uh, you, you can't really ask for a better thing because you're getting a sport and Look at that. See that? Again, sport and luxury. <laughs> Spin it out already. <laughs> I love this thing, boy. And um, another thing is a uh, question I always get are all these cars good for a daily driver? So I don't drive the I don't drive my car daily to work. Um I only drive it on like different occasions if I have the um come home and pick up the family or like i gotta do a video right now so i'm driving the car um but other than that i dropped my mazda 3 so um if you drive this car every day i think it's really good because my gas mileage really doesn't go down at all because what i have in this one the 2000, 2019 i don't know if they have them in the other uh years or anything like that but um they have the deactivation um, cylinder mode. And so what that does is it drops it down to four cylinders. So you pretty much driving a four cylinder car. If that's if you're not like gashing and pushing it, you know? So usually when you're up in the morning, you don't feel like pushing and gassing because you're just trying to get to work. You ain't trying to rush to work. You might have to rush to work, but if you're like me, I get up um, sometime before my alarm and I don't have to rush. All right, so they're extremely great if you want to commute this car. So the next thing I always get are uh, how are the v8s on gas so i have a v8 and um I, I just talked about like they're a great commuter car but i have the v8 and what i like i said it drops down to four cylinders so when you're not pushing on the gas you have the deactivation mode where it just gives you four cylinder type driving you know and when you're ready to push it you can push it when you want to you can actually hear the i, I guess you could just you hit you feel the extra power kick in when you push a little bit harder on the pedal what i'm saying i think it's great on gas i i'm gonna have to do a video about that driving my car to work for the whole week i'm gonna i'm gonna do that video to see how much gas i will actually spend for you i think that'll be a good and a fun little project for me and um actually y'all can see it too because uh, my job i think i'm 25 miles away from my job so you know 25 25 well that's 50 okay so go ahead and do that yeah so it's 50 miles every day back and forth and um i go to the gym a lot so i gotta calculate that time too so i'll I figure that out y'all but let's move on to the next thing so pe people they want to let me know they want to ask are the v8s fast okay so i'm going to tell you something if you watch my channel and you see how i drive i like to drive fast sometimes but i don't get reckless you know i i, I have my fun but um what it is 
I think they're extremely fast cars, bro. This is one of the fastest cars. It has 363 horsepower in it. And um, I think it's... If I, correct me if I'm wrong, you guys. All my 300 fans. I think the um, the 5.7 gets um, 5.3 uh, 5, 5 uh, seconds to 60. That's pretty good. You know? If you're looking for a car that's a family car and actually... It's just, it's just the RT, so you're getting a 5.7 liter engine. Um, it's extremely fast, you know? And you're, you're gonna feel like you have the fastest car on the on the road as you're driving. Like, I feel like I got the fastest car because all I'm seeing is, I'm seeing Jeeks, I'm seeing Mazdas, I'm seeing Toyotas, and Hondas, Lincoln, Nissan, Mercedes, that ain't probably fast, but it look, you don't drive it like that. <laughs> so that's what I was saying. So yeah, when you get this car, you're gonna get an extremely fast car when you get the 5.7, man. It's really fast. You're gonna love it. Especially if you haven't um, drove like an extremely fast car before, this is gonna be really fast to you, for you. Oh yeah, I feel, um, so it's another myth. I think this is one of the last ones. I don't know if I'm up to, I think I'm up to four. Uh, but it's another myth. The guy told me that when you get the straight pipe, it messes up your engine. All right, so a lot of my cars, I straight pipe and nothing happened to my engine. And I, I'm, I'm assuming this is the same thing. I don't know. It might, you might lose power. I'm, I don't, I don't know, you guys. This is something that I don't know. But I'm sticking, I'm sticking up for my 300 game, man. This is a car. You take care of the engine, you get the oil change uh, like it's supposed to, you make sure it's maintained, you make sure you check the oil when you need to, you get the, uh, the checkups and all that stuff. You're not gonna mess up your engine unless something is faulty inside your engine block. I haven't done nothing, no engine mods and stuff like that. It's not gonna mess up your engine, you guys, okay? That's a, that's a myth. I saw somebody put that on there. I was like, dude, it's not gonna mess up your engine. Um, I probably, I probably, I probably have, I could probably drive this car so many miles and then nothing will ever happen to my engine. I don't know if something might happen to my transmission, but I know these transmissions are new. They had the, um, these are the eight speed transmissions, the new ones. Um, I'm not too big and technical on the engine and stuff, but I know this engine is really good. And I know the engine, I am mean, the transmission is really good. And I know the engine, they really updated it with all the Mopars. And so, so yeah, and um, uh, here goes another one, y'all. So, also like when you get a Chrysler 300, you have, uh, it is built on a Mercedes base. No, it is not a Mercedes car, and no, it doesn't have Mercedes parts in it. It still has the Mopar parts in it, which are very um, fair price, which you can, we're, we're, not fair price, affordable. That's the word I want to say. It's very affordable. So um, you're not gonna get like this expensive interior type look you do get a nice look it looks just like the um the dodge charger is really nice looking in the inside and you're really gonna like the dash and um everything else but um as you see you know i already did carbon fiber y'all need to go ahead and check out myself I did the carbon fiber inside i'm about to do this full thing carbon fiber you know look at look at look at us and you get you get the panoramic view Ooh, she like the ride panoramic view <laughs> That's Kevin Gates. <laughs> you know, I get that. That's that's. I feel luxury when I put that back, man. I can see the stars. I can see the whole thing. My little man, he love it. My lady, she love it too. So everybody's gonna love it when they're in the car. So I'm gonna stop now. Uh, I hate driving through DC, and that's another reason why I don't drive my car because I mean, into to work because I work in DC and it is bumpy as a mug. If y'all ever come to DC pothole central just like new york city pothole central just like philly pothole central in that thing man all right <laughs> i'm just letting y'all know but um that's pretty much all i wanted to talk to y'all about I just wanted to give y'all a few myths about the car um but oh let me get but like i said this built on a mercedes um chassis but you don't get the Mercedes parts, but you get the 300 parts. And 300, what they do is try to make it really classy and luxury in the inside for you. These seats are so comfortable, and um, the ride is really comfortable. And um, uh, 
I don't know if you drove if you drove a Mercedes and you can compare the two um, try to compare the two that's something I'm going to do I'm going to compare the two to see like um, if there's any difference but this is a really smooth ride it takes on the bumps really good and every time I drive it seems like everybody goes to sleep so that's a good way to know that you have a good um, you know floatable car man everybody goes to sleep even one of my slight drone 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 noise uh, sleep because it's not bad when they go when it hits like six seven eight gear you don't hear it that's like now like you hear the rumble but you don't hear it's not annoying like when i press on it you hear it. but when when i let go that's how it sounds it sounds just like that when i let go so um all right grizzly gang so without further ado this is the end of the video if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe to the channel man um don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget don't skip the ads everybody hey man i'll see y'all in the next video grizzly gang peace